Um, gestation, I think, as you made mention earlier on, not everyone is familiar with it. They just know diabetes, mm -hmm. which majority know type 1 diabetes, type 2. But when it comes to gestation, unless you get there, Esther Obey Mensa is a registered dietitian who is passionate about nutrition advocacy, expert in weight loss management. She works with Bima Ghana and My Health Corp, a content creator and a YouTuber. Opulent dietitian is always very straight to the point. <laughs> You're welcome once again to Thanks ETV Ghana's having... African Women's Voices Show. Thanks for having me once again. It's All right. Yeah, it's been a while and I'm so happy to. Um, gestation, I think. As you made mention earlier on, not everyone is familiar with it. They just know diabetes, mm -hmm. which majority know type 1 diabetes, type 2. But when it comes to gestation, unless you get there before you get to be discovered, usually it is predominant with pregnancy. And so someone may be diabetic, however, during pregnancy, then they get being diagnosed of, being pregnant, of having the condition. So basically, gestation diabetes is just diabetes in pregnancy. That is just the whole, um, the mean basically. So if you have diabetes outside pregnancy, it's no more gestational diabetes. diabetes. But if you have it whilst or during pregnancy, then it's gestational diabetes. Basically the build up of sh your sugar level or the sugar in your blood build up of it during pregnancy. Basically that is gestational what it diabetes. Is. Oh, okay. yeah. so um, and with, with the adipose tissue deposition, it also causes insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. And because of the hormonal changes also, which also influences the insulin resistance. So weight is one of the risk factors that predisposes um, pregnant women to this gestational di di diabetes. And, and as I made mention, if you don't know your, your, if you don't know your status, and uh, you don't know that your diet plays a key role when it comes to um, your health, you tend to eat anything before pregnancy. Mm -hmm. sure. And people assume that Oh, pregnancy is on its own, it counts its, its, its own stuff, so I can eat anything and then when I go in the doctor or the dietitian says I shouldn't eat this, then I can try and But you wouldn't wait for you to be diagnosed before you start taking precautions. Mm. So you'd have to stick your diet. So most of it is a diet that has poor eating habits and poor um, lifestyle. As you made mention, exercise. So mm -hmm. most women especially, we don't exercise. exercise. And so prior to pregnancy, some of these sedentary lifestyles, being active, eating, just some of them do Adidas. Adidas means you eat and then <laughs> you sleep. <laughs> because they are preparing for the baby. Tell that me kind about of mentality. It. Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's a local service, okay? Yeah. Not the international Adidas we're talking about here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise, poor eating habits, obesity, and also having histories of. Uh, diabetes in in your family mm. or if you have been diabetic you have sorry you have been diagnosed pre-diabetes before pregnancy it also causes you to gestational diabetes mm. and during most uh, pregnancy I mean, during the first trimester they, they experience morning sickness however some people some exceptional people still have their cravings during the first trimester which they tend to eat sweets so this can also influence um, the build up of the sugar and some also because of the hormonal changes as I made mention earlier on the insulin resistance mm -hmm. and so and there's no symptom for you to know unless you go in for the test that's why it's it's a mandatory test during pregnancy that's checking your sugar levels and doing the OGTT um, to check or to be to make sure that you are on the borderline or you are on the safer so there's no symptom if you're waiting for a symptom to 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 let you know that okay and now how gestational diabetes, there is no, so there is none, sorry. And so you wouldn't wait and wait for a symptom. You have to just take the step. Since you, 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 you found out that you're pregnant, then now there and then you just start being on guard. You don't have to wait with diagnosis mm -hmm. um, of it. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, so you have to make sure that your weight is in the normal range, your eating habits, uh, as she, she made mention of the healthy plates, that's my plate. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so she already explained that. So the vegetable, which in Africa, we find problems with our vegetables and fruits. All the time. Which mm -hmm. these are high in fiber, which helps in um, uh, uh, glucose control. That is the glycemic, the glycemic index of these foods are lower. The ability of the vegetables and fruits, some fruits, and it pertains to the quantity anyway. But vegetables, especially fiber-rich foods, their ability to 
raise the blood sugar level. It's very low. The fiber content. That is how you want to plate. Fifty percent of it should be fruits and vegetables. But vegetables more than the other plates. You mean the uh, carbohydrates and then the protein and some healthy fats also be part of your plate. Yes. Yeah, so basically, sweetness are safe. There's some types of sweetness. Um, when it comes to brands, as you mentioned, from Splendor, we also have Stevia. And these are extracts from plants, okay? And they are zero calories. Zero calories means there's no calories that can later be uh, converted into fats, which at the end of the day make you obese to affect your insulin production or insulin way of it regulating the sugars. So, sweetness, not in general, but particular ones that are on the safer side mm. but we have some that are um, sugar alcohols we have some that also have some added sugar to it which also affect the sugar level mm. and so if you are going for sweetness you're going for the brands that are safer that has gone through the research that has been declared safe and has been used by millions of people mm. and then there hadn't been a complication afterwards okay. and so sweetness are safe but it's in quotes and if you're yeah. getting the misconception if you're diabetic, you can't take fruits. Mm. And that is totally a misconception. Okay. It's regards to the quantity and how frequent you take and whether it's overripe or it's moderately ripe. Mm -hmm. So if you're diabetic, because you need a fiber in there, and so if you're diabetic, you can take fruits, but make sure uh, you get your dietitian to let you know the quantities of food you can take and the types of the fruits you can take. That's you can also benefit with the minerals and vitamins in there. Not that because in Ghana, if you are a diabetic, then they stop taking all foods oh, because great. they assume that they are sweet, and so it will affect their sugars. So we just want, I just want to clear that the diabetic can still enjoy your food. Just make sure the quantity and then the frequency of taking. Yeah. Excellent.